calculating budgets. In this presentation, we're going to look at how you calculate a budget and how you work out the variance from a budget. But first, I want to start with a little recap. So see how many of these questions you can answer. What is a budget? List the benefits for a business of conducting a budget. What are the potential drawbacks for an organisation conducting a budget? And what are the different types of budget that exist? Take a few minutes to write them down or discuss them as a group and then we'll run through some of the answers. You may want to pause the video now. Okay, question one, what's a budget? Well, you should have got, the key word is a plan and it's a plan of the inflows and outflows of money in an organisation. List the benefit for a business conducting a budget. Well, it allows you to plan your future spending, that could be one. It could allow you to work out if you need to take any required borrowing. It could be used to set targets other than the organisation. There's three different budgets, examples and benefits of budgets you may have. Potential drawback of an organisation conducting budgets. Obvious one, it's time consuming. You could also have that it's a prediction based on past data and the experience and knowledge of the person conducting the budget who may not be that experienced. And you could also have things like external factors could influence it. So your competitors, for example, may force you to lower your prices, which then will distract and change the figures that you've got in your budget calculations. And the different types of budget that exist, where you've got your profit budget, you've got your revenue budget, and you've got your expenditure budget. Okay, let's move on and have a look in more detail at how we actually calculate a budget using numbers. Let's take a look at the expenditure budget. Now, the expenditure budget is the budget that shows all the money going out of the business, expenditure being another word for costs. So as you can see here, I've got expenditure of wages, rent, and other costs. In the middle column you can see there, it's got budgeted costs. That's my plan. That is what I plan to spend. And then at the end column, I've got my actual costs, so what I actually spent. So I've got my planned and my actual. Now, as you can see underneath there, we've got the total columns. What I would like you to do is have a go at trying to total up these columns. Now there is a worksheet on my website, bbusinessbeer.co.uk, you can download and it's got all these tables in and you can work through it at your own pace. So obviously just going to simply add them up, very simple there, so all I'm asking you to do is add them up. I'm hoping you work that out, I hope you do it really simply. Let's move on to the next type of budget. Okay, we're going to look at a revenue budget. Now the revenue budget is actually all the money that's coming into the business. So this is all the money that comes actually into the business. As you can see there, I've got my three branches. I've got my Stoke branch, my Chester branch, and my Manchester branch. I've got my so-called budgeted sales, so this is what I want them to bring in, sales revenue. And I've got my actual sales revenue, what they brought in. And again, all I'm going to ask you to do is total them up. Remember, expenditure budget shows money going out. The revenue budget shows money coming in. And again, you might want to use my worksheet on my website. You may want to pause the video on the next slide because it's got all the activity explained in more detail. Okay, I want to move on to something a little bit more complex now. I'm assuming you've understood that and it's fairly straightforward. I want to use this word called variance. Now, variance is a business term meaning difference. So this term, when I talk about variance, I mean difference. It's a business term. And we've got two different types of variance when we come to budgeting. We've got what's called an adverse variance and a favourable variance. And all I want you to learn from this whole concept and get used to using is the term Adverse meaning worse than expected, and favourable meaning better than expected. So if you've got an adverse variance, you have done worse than you expected, so worse than you budgeted for. If you've got a favourable variance, you've done better than you expected. And the next activity is going to get you to think about that, and we'll go through one of these examples in each row, and then I want you to obviously have a go yourself. You may want to pause the video and complete each task as we go on, or you may want to download the worksheet from my website. So let's look back at our expenditure budget. And what I want you to do is look at these figures we've got there. So the same figures we had before. In the variance column, I want you to put the actual figure. So, for example, let's do the first one. Wages. They budgeted, so they planned to spend £700,000 on wages. They actually spent £600,000. So are they better or worse off? Well, hopefully you're thinking, OK, they spent less than they plan to spend so that means they've done better because they haven't spent as much money you should be happy with that and by how much money have they actually underspent according to their plan £100,000 so in the variance column we should have £100,000 and hopefully we've got that word favourable in the adverse or favourable column try and do the same for rent and other costs 
For the total, you need to total them all up and then do the variance for the total column. And then again, is it adverse or favorable? You may want to pause the video where you can put that activity and discuss it as a group. Remember, I've got a worksheet on my website that you can download and use all that and calculate it all yourself. Okay, let's try the now for revenue. And this is where it may catch you out. Think carefully. This is a revenue budget. So let's do the one for the state branch. The state branch had budgeted sales of £1.4 million. They actually sold £800,000. So have they done better or worse when it comes to sales? And remember, this is revenue. This is where you've got to get this in your head about revenue. Have they done better or worse when it comes to bringing money in? Well, I'm hoping you're thinking, actually, they've done worse. They should have done 1.4 million, but they've only done 800,000. That means they're 600,000 pound under their target. So the variance would be minus 600, because they're under it, and it would, of course, be adverse, because they've not done as well as they planned. Notice that is how it turns around from the expenditure budget to the revenue budget. You need to get that into your head about this variance meaning better than expected, worse than expected, adverse, favourable. Because remember, that is the key part to this and thinking about what sort of budget it actually is. Have a go and see if you can complete the rest of the table. You may want to pause the video now or again, download my worksheet from my website, bbusinessb.co.uk. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. You should now have a better understanding of the topic area we just looked at. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, it's at bbusinessb. And click the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to visit my website, bebusinessbee.co.uk, and add it to your favourites. Lots of free business resources and quizzes to help you with your business studies. Simply go to my website, create your free Business Bee account, and then you can access all my quizzes, take some of the little tests, get your score sent straight to your inbox with a lovely Bee Business Bee certificate. And don't forget to view some of my other videos and share them with your friends.